are you amazing, beautiful people? And welcome back to another big BTS Friday. How are all of you doing? So, these are the two most requested songs in my comment section that you guys have asked me to react to. Please make sure you go to that comment section and leave your recommendations down below. But these are easily the two most requested. And these are going to be two brand new reactions. As in, I've never heard these songs from BTS. So I'm super excited to check these out. And that is BTS Come Back Home, the official music video. And then this song right here, uh, Jamess, Jamess Vu, Vu. This one as well, there's a live performance video, so we're gonna check that one out. So, I'm gonna stop talking, make sure you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe for more, and let's jump into my first time ever reaction to BTS, Come Back Home. I was told to make sure I checked out the music video to this. The music video doesn't have, um, Heads up, music video doesn't seem to have any captions, and I was told to make sure I react to the music video, but the lyrics are in the description, so we're gonna read them after this. Damn. Definitely old school BTS vibe. I gotta say, the angry, hungry, yes, I'm hangry, amazing. <laughs> amazing. This is such an old school BTS vibe. It's such, it's so old school. When did this freaking music video come out again? Six years ago. I know that old school then, but it does have an old school BTS vibe to it. I don't know how long, what album came out six years ago? Can't remember the top of my head. God damn, I love it though. I love it. I love it when they do this. I love it. I love that we can have BTS being the sweetest, most adorable, freaking cute people in the world, and then they can go absolutely freaking hardcore with it like this. Yeah. I love this. This is, this is awesome. This is awesome. This is like refined old school BTS. You know what I mean? It's like they, they got that old school hard rap heavy sound they were sort of debuted with. They took that and sort of enhanced and modernized it to match similar sort of sounds to now. I've somehow found a happy medium and have created this hardcore instrumental. These are brilliant freaking verses, fantastically hard chorus. This is such a good song. This is such a good song. Oh man, also, you guys ever done that? You ever been like so angry, frustrated, or just full of so much energy or adrenaline or anything like that that you've literally just like done a full sprint out of nowhere? I've done that. I remember when I was younger, I used to do that. And not like, it wasn't like a daily occurrence. But I remember doing it when I was younger. It's just like something would happen and you'd be like, you just have like a moment where you just like full sprint just out of nowhere for no, for like, like just for some random reason. Anyone done that? Or do I just sound completely insane? Eh. <laughs> Breathing there. What's the deal with the music video, by the way? Is this the official music video? Because it's on the Stone Music Entertainment thing. So I imagine this is the official music video, right? Um, that breathe in there. I want to hear that one more time. Hard it, hard it, hard it, hard it, hard it. 
Brilliant, right? <laughs> this is such a good one. Awesome recommendation. Awesome recommendation for all of you. I have loved this. I have loved the energy. I've loved the old school vibes. I've loved the freaking lyrics. I've loved it. I loved it. And obviously, the only the lyrics I can understand, which is the chorus. <laughs> but I've loved it. I've loved it. I've loved it. I've loved it. Oh my god. Interesting. The music video in that one scene just made me wonder if it's kind of like. Um, have you ever? Any of you ever seen that? Um, what's it called? I don't know. Are these anything to do with me? Uh, no, I was just making sure. There's a. But I'm. We we're expecting something. Um, so I was just driving down the road. That's why I was looking out the window. Um, what was the freaking? Was it seven? Something seven? What was that Netflix TV show where everyone was born around like the same time? Not Umbrella Academy. Um, and they all like had they all like linked emotionally and they could feel each other and like jumping out and eat each other's bodies and stuff like that. Well, it's something, I swear, it's something seven, can't remember. This is so good. A freaking good song. Such a good song. Who knows? Maybe the whole song has been interpreted wrong, and he's an alien, and the alien and, and BTS is saying you gotta come back home. Maybe it's that. <laughs> Maybe it's something like that. That's why we saw the planet at the end there. And that was such a good song. Oh my word, I loved it. There's a there's an explicit music video? There's an explicit music video, guys? I didn't know this. What, what's the explicit music video look like? <clears throat> what makes the explicit music video like different? I'm kind of curious now. What's what's so explicit about the explicit music video? Should we should we have watched that one? Curious now. Anyway, let's check out the lyrics. I want to make sure I read the lyrics. God man. Jin's high notes. Oh, stunning. Stunning, 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 stunning. Jin's freaking perfect vocals, man, on that one. And and the rap verses were heavy. It was, man, it was so good. It was such a good one. All right. Because <clears throat> um, I'm coming back home, what am I trying to uh, find so hard now? Where am I continuously drifting to? Should I cut this bit out, read it myself? Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to cut this bit out, I'll read it myself, and I'll come back to all of you, all right? All right, it's going to be a little cut for you guys, and then I'm back. All right, we're back. It's interesting. The lyrics... The lyrics seem a bit all over the place. And what I mean by that is there's lines in this that seem like um, that, like, you must come back home and this sort of stuff. And then um, and talking about, like, like, like JK's verse for the hook where it says, like, an honor to my family, to my mother and to make my family get stuffed till their stomachs explode. I continuously work hard, work hard, work hard. But then Sugar has a verse where Sugar says started from the bottom and we're still going up. I still want more. So it's weird. On one hand, it seems like somewhat like they're saying like we want more, we're working harder for more, and on the other hand, it's like um, but that working hard is 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 crushing us. You know, it's it's interesting. 
like a double-edged sword. That's sort of what I was getting from it, if that makes sense. Um, very, very, very well put together song. Very heavy lyrics and just absolutely freaking loved it. I absolutely freaking loved it. So, so, so good. Now, man, ah, oh, man, I'm downloading that one immediately. That song was amazing. <laughs> that was such a good recommendation. What a great song. Now, Jamis Vu. Apparently, this is a secret song or something like that. It's quite, it's a song for the fans. It's quite an unknown one. This came out a few years ago. Um, and there's a live performance of it. Now, again, the live performance is one I've been told to check out. It's going to have auto captions, so the lyrics are going to be a bit messed up. But this is the one that was recommended. So this is the one we're going to check out. I always do the ones you guys recommend. If you recommend the lyric version, I'll do the lyric version. You recommend music videos, we do music videos. And these are the two that you recommended. So let's go. This is, this is so interestingly done and, and like so beautiful. So for starters, um, keep in mind the captions probably going to be quite wrong. Um, it's the only ones we've got. Second thing I want to say is usually with BTS, if we've got Jin and JK and you heard, oh, there's a trio song, Jin, JK, you would immediately assume that it would be one of the other two vocal line members, right? The fact that we got Hobie out there. I love, I think like J-Hope adds this like, when he goes solemn and sort of slow, he can add this really different feel to a song. And like we've seen that now, almost like when he's just talking, like, like he's like the storyteller leading us through the song. Does that make sense? And I feel like that's what we've got with this. We've got Jin and JK doing these beautiful harmonies, right? These beautiful vocals. And then we have Hobie like holding our hand and guiding us through the song. And I feel like as a trio, they work so well, so well. You would, you would usually expect to be Jimin or Tay. I love that we got the trio of Kobe. Those backing vocals on Hobie's second part of the verse there, where you had like, it sounded like Jimin and JK came in and sort of whisper toned underneath of him, just added this whole different like haunting, like level of intensity to that verse. It sounded beautiful. Absolutely freaking beautiful. I love the triangle formation we got here as well. It 
it's funny how when Jin enlisted, like the first one to enlist, like um, um, everything for me kind of changed. I don't know if, it, if you guys felt like this too, but the second Jin en- uh, um, Jin enlisted, I literally had like, I, like I don't know, I had like an awakening or something, and I was actually like, um, I was like. I, how do I say this? I'm just gonna come out and say it. I just ended up just loving him even more. Like I, I like I started noticing him more in songs, and I started realizing that like how amazing Jin is. Does that make sense? I don't know if I sound crazy. I don't know. It all like it all clicked after he enlisted, and then when like the first few songs I heard after he enlisted after that news, everything just felt different, and I just had this like new more amount of love for Jin. I don't I don't know how to word it, but. Something about him just breaks me now. Like when he, when I, something about him just, you feel like he's got a hold on my heart now. Such a well formatted song as well. Such a well done song. Amazing. 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 Beautiful song. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a complete contrast of songs we've had today. What a complete contrast. From the freaking um, oh man, <laughs> hold on. Let me just gather. Let me just gather myself here. What a freaking got a contrast from. So is this uh, James Vu? Is that how I pronounce this one? James Vu. Is that is that what it is? From the the freaking hard verses of Come Back Home, where we literally have this freaking. How do I word it? How do I word it? It's like um, how do I word it? It's like this old school. Not old school. It felt, it's weird. It felt like, it felt like this. It felt like they took a, ah, oh man. How do I word this? I wish I was better at this sort of stuff. Um, Come Back Home felt like a glimpse at old BTS, but with new sound. That's what it felt like. It, it had that, all that hardness and all that aggression of the first couple of BTS albums, but with their new found like level of organization and skill and talent because they've literally just got better and better with every single release. And I feel like we saw that talent on like an older song and that's what Come Back Home felt like to me. It felt like a modernized version of an old school BTS. Does that make sense? And I feel like it was done so well. It's like an instant playlist adder for me and I super enjoyed it. And then uh, Jamas Vu, I feel like we literally just had such a underrated trio from BTS. We had Jin and JK just having these like beautiful vocals, these amazing back and forth. And if someone said to me that we had a trio with Jin and JK, I would assume that the other the other person would be Tay or Jimin, right? That it would be like a vocally heavy song. But throwing in Hobi or any of Rap Line, whether it be Sugar RM as well, I feel like you add a whole different like style to the song, but Hobie especially, because Hobie will have like, I don't know how to word it, but it almost feels like he's the guide through the song. You know, he's holding our hand and he's guiding us through this song. And like, we've got this performance piece from Jin and JK and Hobie just guiding us and talking to us and bringing us through it. And then and Jin and JK just like harmonizing on top of his voice at the second half of his verses. Honestly, absolutely stunning. That is a beautiful freaking song and a really nice performance. Just the simple subtleties of walking around in the triangle and everything like that. It was, it's just pretty awesome. Oh, this is a really good day. <laughs> we had we had two really, really, really good ones. Really good ones today.
absolutely love this. Man, every time I listen to anything from BTS that I haven't heard before, it just makes me realize how much I freaking miss these guys. I can't wait for them to come back. Anyway, I really hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself an amazing day. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.